Well, Trace Barnett, the bitter socialite, is here now with a super easy and inexpensive way to transform a piece of furniture, upholstered furniture, by painting it? I know. Really? It, we're painting on the fabric? We are, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and paint directly on it. I know painting fabric seems like a foreign concept, um, but you need to approach it just like you would paint wood. It's okay. basically the same thing, or like painting a wall, and it's going to completely transform the look. You know, we all have those outdated pieces of furniture. You know, they're sentimental, or we just love them. Yeah. And so, an easy way to avoid paying a professional to um, recover your furniture, or, you know, slip covers are hard to make and they're really expensive. Mm -hmm. Simply grab your paintbrush or a roller and just paint directly onto the fabric. Will it work on any kind of fabric? It will. It's going to work on any variety of fabric. We've had, we have a few varieties here that you might encounter. Okay. Um, and it's going to work from velvet um, to upholstery, like this thick upholstery here. It'll work on suede, leather, even like the rattan, um, tweed, all of that kind of stuff. It's okay. going to work. So how do we get started? So what we're going to do is you're going to start by identifying the composition of your fabric mm -hmm. because that's really going to determine what materials you're going to need. But the first step you're going to want to do is take a stiff brush or a vacuum and just kind of brush off the fabric and get it really nice and clean. Okay. After you've done that, if it's really heavily soiled or worn, you're going to want to take like a foaming. I like that's my favorite kind to use. is the foaming in the can, kind of mm -hmm. shake it up. It the works. Cleaner. Yeah, mm -hmm. it works great. Let that dry thoroughly. So after you've identified the composition of your fabric, whether it be like a cotton poly, a suede, leather, or the tweed, what you're going to do on the suede and on the thick upholstery, especially if it has the stitching on there. Mm -hmm or if it's velvet, you're going to want to take a spray bottle with lukewarm water and you're going to want to just spray that and just saturate it really well. So does that help the paint take it better? It does, okay. yeah. It's going to make this, if you directly paint it onto this fabric without spraying it first, it's going to use a ton of paint. Okay, maybe be spraying this one while we do that. Okay, next so step. what you're going to do is, and your paint choice, and there's a lot of paint choices out there, but I love to use an indoor satin paint that you would just use on a wall. Okay. And choose your paint on um, how much your furniture is going to be worn, how it's going to function, and I usually stick with the satin because it's easier to clean. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're just going to want to dive right into your paint and just directly with, make sure and coat your brush really, really well. Okay. We're going to do a heavy, thick brush stroke. And if you can see where we've wet the fabric really well, it really takes in that it paint. It does, yeah. And so use a variety of brush strokes on this. You don't necessarily, there's no certain way to go about doing this. But you want to go know, in different directions. Right, go in different directions to create that even streamlined look. Okay. You might even um, want to, depending on your fabric texture, you might even want to take your brush and do a circular motion just to really work it into those heavily textured areas. When this dries, is it going to feel stiff when you sit on it? It will feel stiff initially, but the great thing about that is, is toward the end of the process, which we'll go over shortly, you're going to want to take a light grade of sandpaper mm -hmm. And you're going to sandpaper that, and it's going to give it a nice, soft, like a soft feel. Okay. Um, so when you're doing your layers, um, you're going to want to do a few different layers, depending on, you can see where this paint here started to dry somewhat, mm -hmm. that there's still a bit of that pattern coming through. Right. So it's going to roughly take three to four um, layers. Of paint. Yeah, mm -hmm. and one good thing um, about using generic wall paint um, is it's pretty, it's inexpensive. Right. So you can cover large areas. Okay. Um, uh, with a low price. Good idea. Yeah, and one, we've done the heavily textured stuff here, but if you would dab a little paint, it may be easier to see it on the white. So if you have like a leather or pleather vinyl surface, mm -hmm. it's always best to me to do it initially in that normal brush stroke back okay. and forth. You're going to let that layer dry, and then I like to go back over that layer in the alternating pattern, that and that's going to even that out. Now you wouldn't sand this, would you? You would not sand this, okay. unless you're going to distress it. Um, okay. And that's a complete option on all of this, too, is you are, it's all can be distressed. Okay. And so with this right here, you're just going to want to like do the circular motion just like that. So after you've done your layers, you're going to take a light grade sandpaper. Um, I think this is 120. Mm -hmm. And you're going to sand it and be sure and do a circular motion um, in the areas that are going to be well worn. And then take a coat of wax and go ahead and apply that with cheesecloth and it's going to feel like leather. All right, we've shown you this pretty quickly, but all the instructions are online at newschannel5.com with a link to Trace's website. It's the Bitter Socialite. It is. Check us out. All right, really interesting stuff there.